This announcement, as you know, coming more than two years after the FBI first announced its investigation into all of college basketball, that investigation uncovered corruption involving universities, shoe companies, agents, and players. Among those schools named in the investigation was the University of Louisville. It was the second scandal in just two years, leading U of L to fire both head coach Rick Pitino and athletics director Tom Jurich. The FBI investigation led to a federal trial in which three men were sentenced for their roles in the pay for play scandal. Former Adidas executive James Gatto, business manager Christian Dawkins and amateur league director Merle Code all spent time in prison. While this investigation, the criminal investigation played out in court, the NCAA also began its own investigation and in April 2019, it gave the University of Louisville notice of an investigation leading us to this moment today. Now at the center of one of those violations from the NCAA, as you've been hearing, is the former coach Rick Pitino, who just got hired to be the new coach at Iona in New York. U of L fired him with cause on October of 2017. Last September, the school settled a lawsuit with Coach Pitino to change his personnel file to read resigned. Tonight, he's responding to these new allegations. Tyler Griever, Griever is joining us live outside the KFC Yum Center downtown with what Pitino is saying here tonight. Tyler. Yeah, Doug, this cloud surrounding Rick Pitino had to factor in why he's been out of college hoops for the past couple of years. But Iona and him have been at the front of this since they hired him, saying they were extensive in their interview process and they continue to support the Hall of Famer. Now, the NCAA is alleging that Jim Gatto, who you mentioned, is a former Adidas executive, informed Pitino he'd help recruit Brian Bowen. The notice also says Pitino knew of another school's cash offer and failed to look into how much Gatto helped Louisville with an offer, which was said to include $100,000 and then $25,000 in extra benefit. Despite the repeat offenses of former assistants and his past controversy, Pitino and Iota have expressed confidence in him not being penalized further for this level two violation. Pitino seems to be standing behind that today. He says, quote, Today, the NCAA released an NOA and alleges a level two violation against me. I firmly disagree with this allegation and will follow the protocols in addressing this allegation through the administrative process. Due to NCAA bylaws on public disclosure on enforcement issues, I will have no further comment on this matter until it is resolved, unquote. As for Louisville's current head coach, Chris Mack, he's praising the changes he's seen at UofL since then. He adds, quote, while I understand the allegations brought today, I'm confident that the university will do what is right which includes fighting back on those charges that we simply do not agree with and for which the facts do not substantiate. The future is bright for Cardinal basketball. Our focus will continue to be on our tremendous student athletes. Now, Doug, there's one more coach at issue here who is still currently coaching in college hoops. That's a guy you mentioned in Kenny Johnson. He's an assistant at LaSalle. I reached out to LaSalle for a comment on this today. The university says it's taking the matters very seriously, but is not going to comment publicly any further at this time. Reporting live from the UM Center, I'm Tyler Grieber, WHAS 11 News.